Hey guys, so I'm in Sicily, and this is of course where Martin Scorsese uh, derived a lot of his, you know, inspiration. And I'm on the balcony right outside my hotel room, and I just wanted to share just one quick thought before I get breakfast. Um, this place actually looks a little bit, a little bit like Singapore in 2001, in the sense that it's not undeveloped, but it's not quite developed either. Um, it's a nice, like nice little uh, place down there. And then you can see behind me. So one of the problems with having mafia influence is that you don't know if things are actually going to work. I'm, actually, I'm a little bit scared to be on this balcony right now because I know that in order for the mafia to make money, they have to cut corners. That's how they, you know, that's how they operate. Um, even now, when the black market has more power uh, than ever before, um, you know, it's still a question of trying to launder the money because there's just too much of it. And that actually works out a little, little bit better because instead of trying to skim off the top, uh, what you're really trying to do uh, is you just buy up the whole building. Um, the problem with buying up the whole building is that there's no incentive to renovate once you've laundered that money. Um, so this might not be the most stable structure uh, because of the skimming that would happen. That's the same thing with cement. Um, you know, you can use 100%, you know, different depending on the formula. Uh, some cement, you know, might not be as stable as other kinds. Um, and so if you have a, you know, a, a request for a proposal um, and you tell the government or the private contractor that you're going to, you know, build a hotel for X amount, uh, one way to make money is simply to cut corners. Um, and so because, and yet you still have the facade of development, you still have the, you know, sort of the image, but it only only lasts a short time. And Palermo, in particular, um, at one point, every business was paying. Well, not uh, maybe not all of them. Um, a few priests stood up to the establishment. One of the politicians stood up to, to the mafia. Uh, of course, he had to have twenty four hour you know protection. Um, and ultimately. You know, the real problem with corruption is this idea that you, not only will you not get better, um, but even the things you have don't have any incentive for improvement. And so it's sort of this constant informal process uh, in, a, in an area that shouldn't be informal, uh, like construction standards. And so when you think about the mafia sort of colliding and colluding with the unions, you can also see how that would be uh, an issue, especially if you're still trying to skim money off the top for other sorts of um, activities, whether it's political or otherwise. Um, so this is sort of combination of criminality with construction, uh, with politics. Uh, you know, it could end up in a situation where you're eventually just running weapons, um, you know, or you're doing something else, uh, because it all eventually ties in together. But as I'm standing here, um, you know, you have a situation where I'm looking forward to seeing how Palermo has developed. Um, and uh, because again, about 20, 30 years ago, there's no question that most of the businesses here were paying protection money. And ultimately, the, uh, the question is, has that changed? One person said the way we change it is that one person can't, make a, can't send it to the mafia. But the way we change all this is, is that all of us get together and say no to the mafia. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing how all that's played out. Uh, but looking at my hotel here, um, you know, I, I have to tell you that, you know, even if you kick out the mafia in a best case scenario, the problem is where do you get the money to upgrade all these facilities uh, that were built, uh, you know, perhaps not by the highest standards in the first place.